we will use now different techniques in order to create landscape and here is an exercise or an example to show how to use different techniques we have a site for a building we have here some kind of layout which we will use we have a pathway which we will model and this is going through a slope so we just make a copy of it and then we will bring it outside and then we give it a, a height and with a push pull uh, with the height referred to that area and then we in order to create a slope we just make a shape which is a box we give it the same height and then we bring uh, the uh, we bring the slope uh, shape here and then we subtract it by pushing it back so we created a slope here and we we move this uh, shape into the new box uh, so they will intersect each other in a way and this this is a technique there are many techniques to to create this kind of uh, slopes but now when we select it all and we say uh, intersect with a model all the shapes will intersect through each other and now what we do we go and erase the forms and shapes that we don't want to see so we select this away this away and we take all the parts and pieces that we don't want and this is a very fast technique so you could consider in order to create very very complex shapes so you could see here the um, slope coming for the pathway and uh, it is uh, almost ready so we could now select it look around it looks okay so we could select this now and we could make also an offset for some kind of uh, uh, walls and that's ready we make it uh, as a group and then we we bring this into the its uh, original uh, location and here we place it and then we go to try to find the next technique for creating some landscaping for the right side here it start with creating the walls uh, the retaining walls we give it the right height you see there are different heights here and there and there so we try to make the site ready and now the idea here is we create the uh, the shape uh, by creating some arc over these faces um, these arcs will give the shape of the earth of the soil and this we will use as a pore uh, as a as some kind of a border to create a landscape for this for this area so when this is ready we go and select the border lines for this part of the site so all the border lines we could select and here and there so all these kind of lines and borders we select in order to create some kind of a landscape and then we could go to the uh, sandbox feature uh, from contours and we click and we what we will see is that all lines will be connected now through a shape and this kind of um, uh, terrain is made uh, now in a way that there are geometries there but you see we have some kind of we go to the hidden geometry option in, all, in order to see what how the geometry are located we are we could see some uh, uh, some problems here and there but this is easy we could go inside and delete these kind of shapes and it's a bit of cleaning here and there and uh, this is very uh, very easy to do so while we are inside we could make all uh, inside this kind of group we could always make this uh, cleaning so we make uh, uh, we, we place a color over it so this is ready and the same we could do on this part and we go to the other part and here 
the other, the other side and there we use a different technique for creating organic shapes and um, a landscape and here oh, we what we do we make a copy of the same shape and we place it there and we will use um, uh, this uh, 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 what we call it the from scratch uh, option for creating a grid uh, face over the ground and this grid could be made over the ground and then we could go to windows and make a soften edges of it so there will this kind of, uh, is, is some kind of a shape with the soften edges we could just smooth it totally flat uh, so there's a hidden grid inside this form or shape and this shape now uh, we bring it over the grid that we made which we bring it we try to line it up by going to the top view and then what we go we go to the we go to the drape function from uh, we select it we go to the drape function from uh, uh, sandbox and we drape it over the shape uh, that created from the uh, the tool from uh, and then we could select the uh, we select the parts that we don't want and we keep the shape that we need and this shape we don't need now this shape that we created from scratch uh, tool under uh, under sandbox we move it back to its uh, origin and now this shape as as mentioned there is some kind of a hidden grid inside it which we wor will work with with a tool called smooth tool so we double click inside it we go to the smooth tool and we will get some kind of a red circle we, we give it a, a bigger radius and then we start going pushing it up uh, and then form this kind of uh, terrain and this is a very interesting tool if we want really to shape the terrain by ourselves so there are no contours or whatever so we could just be um, uh, flexible of shaping this so we can give it a material here and we will see also we could bring some kind of uh, uh, feature over over it we have here a shape that we will use as a uh, that will represent some kind of uh, uh, water feature uh, swimming pool or a relaxing area over the terrain so what we do here we look from the, from the top view we bring it over and then we line it up and we look and we see how it fit then when we have this selected we could first make some cleaning here we take these parts away just to make sure that we could select it in the right way so these lines and then we could select it and in, in a way um, uh, stamp it over the terrain and so that will create some kind of a platform with cotton fill automatic cotton fill in the, in the terrain and this we could use as a plateau or a platform for a swimming pool that we will create so now we go and select the inside feature here uh, we just click double click there and then uh, once again then we we just we need the border so and then we we drape just the shape and and then we take all this away and now we go with the push pull button and we give it a bit we lower it down and then we could uh, we we could color it and the same we could do also with the pathway and we could give it a wall there so it will look like this at the end